Hello Internet, Kevin Chamberlain here. Well, the YouTube channel Rich Alvarez recently reached its 10th anniversary, and since I've known Richie since my junior year of high school, and have also hosted History of Stupid Mario Brothers, I figured I'd do a small series of retrospective videos called Roots of Rich Alvarez, talking about the history of how it all began for Richard Alvarez Jr. Yes, what many people probably don't know is that he is actually the second of his name. His father, Richard Alvarez Sr., is the first of his name, and the resemblance between the two is noticeable, but that's beside the point. After this video, I will be reviewing Richie's first six movies, from Arthur vs. the Druids to Board of the Rings, in a style sort of similar to how I did History of Stupid Mario Brothers. Richie did upload the Arthur series at the time he started, but sadly, they no longer exist, and the audio was rather low, and in part two, there was no visual as I recall. And Richie did upload part of Board of the Rings on his second channel, but other parts were blocked due to copyright claim on the music, and they too no longer exist. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. They do exist, it's just that he's never continued with it, partly because of that reason. And... While it would be easy to rework them, the problem is that the original footage that went into all six of the movies no longer exists, and all that's left of them are on DVDs. But that was after they were edited, music and all. In fact, I own a copy of the box set, which is why you've seen bits and pieces of them here and there in some of my own videos, this one included. So I figured I'd do a little compromise for Roots of Rich Alvarez because I know how much you yearn to see these early films. It doesn't matter how you see them, the point is you want to see them from what I gather. So I'll show as much of the videos as I can without any commentary, and when it gets to certain areas that Richie doesn't like, or it comes to points where the music could get claimed by a third party, that's where I take over with my commentary to outmaneuver such a thing. That way, you still have the honor to see them and gain some insight from behind the scenes, while at the same time, no mistakes are repeated. I wouldn't normally do it that way, but given that any of these songs, not counting anime soundtracks like Full Metal Alchemist or Cowboy Bebop, could be under Warner Music Group, and I'll be damned if I let them mute the audio simply because it played for more than 30 seconds. So join me next week for Roots of Rich Alvarez, Arthur vs. the Druids vs. the Grail Part 1. I'm willing to wait. And so am I. That's good. Because then we can get some much needed sleep, rest, and food. I'm really hungry. And by the way, who the hell farted? I did, sire.